So, this is just a quick uh, walkthrough of what I've done. Not that you'd be able to tell a whole lot, but I actually removed uh, an abnormal amount of the vacuum hoses uh, that were obsolete, not necessary. I mean, there was a lot. I mean, a lot. Uh, this whole section right here had its own uh, emission control type deal. I'm not sure what it's called. Right? Actually, I forget. But um, I removed that and ended up capping uh, any of the, I don't know what you call them, inlets, outlets, uh, where the hoses would go to. There's quite a few of them. But uh, here's all the stuff I removed that was, again, completely unnecessary. It was just cluttering everything up, just taking up space. And uh, I ended up leaving this hose, which connects over here and goes over here. I ended up leaving that one because... Uh, I removed it, drove for a little while, and trucked it. The engine didn't run too good, or it just felt funny, so I reconnected and left that one on. Ran and ran good again. But other than that, I, I would say about 98% of the vacuum hoses I've, I've just flat out removed, and it runs fine without them. Um, here's another one. And there was, uh, okay, I believe I could be mistaken, this might be the EGR sending unit, I forget, I forget the particular name, but it was, like, right here, underneath the, in this, in this area, uh, just completely removed it, again, unnecessary, uh, got a new distributor cap, if you, if you saw the old one, <laughs> uh, you'd be cringing. Uh, still need to change the spark plug wires. Um, and uh, I eventually have to remove this this pipe and plug the hole. With, I believe the size of the plug is the same as the uh, the oil plug, the oil pan plug that goes, you know, that's underneath the engine. It's, I believe it's the same size as that. But since I can't do that just yet, I ended up leaving, you know, left it. And uh, this is also part of the emissions uh, control. Get it, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I ended up adding a uh, capping it, and uh, I don't know if you can see that on the inside, and then adding this clip on there. It's on there nice and tight, so you know, no fumes or anything escapes. And I uh, went to the junkyard and I got this uh, in cold air intake hose. This hood strut because I was the truck didn't have one, and I kind of rigged this up so that the the end of this uh, hood strut will you know stay in there in place, not come off or bounce off or anything like that. Uh, and I had a What do you call it? <laughs> Where can I remember this stuff? Uh, air, air intake, uh, coat, the uh, air filter, aftermarket. I actually had it on my uh, Mustang. I had two of them, a smaller one and this larger one. But I placed it on the truck and it's running even better. You know, just sucking up cold air. It's, it's on there very snug. But it's just a temporary thing. I'd eventually like to, uh, and I'm just using this to illustrate. It's not like I'm going to use that PVC pipe or anything or connector. 
uh, get a smaller or manufacture one or find one online or something uh, uh, a dish I'm not sure I forget what this is called maybe some one of you some of you guys will know uh, a considerably smaller one and uh, fashion it so that uh, the pipe goes in the same uh, direction as this one and I can uh, get a better air intake hose and, and essentially have the same setup but I also wanted to get another one on this side and have it pointed right in this direction towards the fan and have a smaller uh, air filter like right here just sucking up all the air because this fan this fan is on while the engine is on and just is just shooting cold air in this direction so and uh yeah that's that is it for now thanks for watching